giant monster bass. Monster bass. Monster guy. Here's a fish. Bass box. Pro, baby! Yes, box, pro, yeah! Yeah, Jack. buddy! Jig fish, nice fish too, buddy. Look at this. This is thick on the blade. Nice wintertime bass. I'll take it. It's wintertime. We're out here, 35 degree weather, catching bass. You know? Uh, to me, that's, you know, that's where it's at. You know, most guys are out duck hunting, deer hunting. We enjoy our deer hunting, but we're catching bass, man. Bass Box Pro. We're going to send you the baits so you can go out and fish in the wintertime and catch these fish. There you go, buddy. Hey, guys. Nick Young here with Bass Box Pro. just want to give a shout-out to Nixon Marine. You guys, if you're... That's how we get her done. All right, guys, we're out here winter fishing, Bass Box Pro, utilizing the tools that we're gonna send you for your winter box. Looking for the fatty. Hey guys, uh, I'm Nick Young. Kevin Tucker. We're uh, here to uh, introduce to you our new business. Uh, it's a uh, subscription bass fishing lures and apparel company. And uh, we're excited to uh, be sharing our new company with you guys. We'll be uh, shipping out uh, popular tournament uh, proven lures and apparel uh, starting next month. We're getting ready to come into the month of December. and. Uh, these boxes will, uh, they're not going to be like any others you've seen out there. They're, they're uh, seasonal pattern boxes is what they are. So you'll be getting your boxes uh, in the mail. And that month that you get your box, the baits that you receive will pertain to that month of fishing. So we'll be sending out winter pattern boxes, summer pattern boxes, and so on and so forth. Uh, everything in our box you'll be able to go out and use right then and there that day. So if you get your winter pattern box, it will come with, winter pattern lures and the right size line for your lures. Like I said, everything in the box is something that I would take to a major tournament with me and fish. So and, all these... And that's not just it. What we're going to do after you get the box, we're going to take you out to the lake and we're going to show you how to use each and every lure that comes in your box with special techniques by the pros. So we're supporting you completely all the way through on a great fishing day. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you the breakdown on how to use the lures that we are sending you. So you, you can go to our informational YouTube video on our website and uh, go ahead and watch our videos on how to use these products. It's BassBoxPro.com and check it out. And our subscriptions are, are low priced. And uh, not only that, you also get the web feedback directly on the lures that we provide for you each and every month. Not your average subscription company. These these lures, lines, and gear you will be able to take to your professional bass tournaments, to your local pond. If you're a everyday uh, average fisherman, then you're going to have professional lures and techniques to take to your favorite ponds, to your favorite lakes. If you're a professional angler on the on the largest level, you will be able to use our lines and our lures in your competition. We're going to be featuring Sunline uh, for all of our leader lines. Um, we'll be featuring uh, Braided Line uh, for your fuse knots. So this is going to be the real deal, guys. These aren't uh, cheap grubs coming in packages or no sample packs. No sample packs. This is this is tournament ready, tournament grade A class, good quality fishing gear. And it's a beautiful day in November, and I'm ready to get my fish on. So let's go. Let's go start our informational. Hey, Nick Young here with uh, Bass Box Pro. We're here on Lake Waihe getting ready to film one of our informational videos on our pre-winter pattern box. Just want to give you a shot of the deck here so you can see what we're dealing with. It's uh, about 20 degrees outside today and uh, we're, we're headed towards the month of December. So hope you guys can join us and, and learn a few things and, and see how we attack uh, pre-winter bass fishing.
so what we got going on here is an extremely cold morning. Uh, my line is bringing up ice here and it's literally shaving off on my reel. So I'm going to switch to a football head uh, jig so I can slow my presentation down a little bit. I think I'll go back to the action after it starts to warm up a few degrees. Uh, Tucker's back here throwing a suspended jerk bait and he's going to practice uh, five to six second pauses. These fish are definitely not chasing, so we're going to try to give them something that they can actually look at. So he's going to do a twitch or a twitch twitch and then a pause, count to five, and then he's going to twitch twitch again. And, and nine times out of ten, these bass, they're going to eat this jerk bait in this kind of weather on the pause. So when you go to twitch it again is when the fish will be there or he will shoot slack into your line. You really want to pay attention to your line with this kind of retrieve. Uh, because when the fish hits it from behind, it's going to put a little bit of slack in your line. You're going to see a twitch. So what I'm doing now is I'm switching up to your standard football head jig right here. Okay. I like to use three quarter ounce, uh, one ounce, half ounce, depending on what depth I'm fishing and what time of year. I always trail it up with some kind of a, a creature craw. Doesn't really matter. This one's even a little beat up. So basically, it looks like this. Okay? So, trailer, jig. And in our boxes, when we send you your football head jig, we always send you a trailer with it. Now this trailer, you can fish on a Carolina rig, you can fish on a Texas rig. There's several different ways to fish the trailer as well, and we'll show you that in some of our other videos or at a later time. But I just want to show you how these go together right here. When I tie this jig on, I just tie an improved clinch knot. Okay, and I'll show you some knot demonstrations uh, in our videos too. Uh, but but I'm going to give you just a quick rundown here of how I put this on here. How fast and efficient this knot is. And we, again, we'll give you the breakdown on this knot later on. It's hard to see with lines, so we're going to use rope for you guys. Alright, now she's ready to go. This is paired with 20 pound test line. This is my Dobbins rod right here. The Dobbins Carolina rig rod. It works really well for me for for jig fishing, for uh, Carolina rigging, football head, any of that. Now you want to play around with your retrieves too. You know, depending on the time of year, uh, you got to kind of read your water. I mean, look at today and the way it is out here with our with our air temperatures, with our water temperatures. So I'm not going to start off with a real aggressive hop, snap, pop, any of that. Now, that may be the case, and that may be how they're eating the jig. But from the signs that I've been showing today on the lake, I know I'm going to start out with a real slow retrieve. I'm basically going to throw it out and count rocks with it. I want to make it look like a dying or wounded crawdad uh, that's not going to make it through winter. You know, this is a perfect example for you guys, too, to come along with us on this day because I guide on this reservoir, and the fishing's been great here. It probably still is, but it's, it's, it's been a different kind of fishing. This is the first really cold day that we've had. I mean, this really shocked the lake. So you guys are getting to come along with us and see how we use our winter baits, our winter tools, to find out what these fish want today. We don't know if they're in the back. We don't know if they're out here on the points. We don't know if they're using the the shallow rock to sabotage their food still, or if they've moved back out deep for winter. So so this is a great day for you guys to come along with us and see how we use what we're going to send you to, to break this lake down. I mean, we still have ice all over our boat. Um, it's, can't even get the boat in gear. Yeah, it's really cold. Really, really, really cold. Here's a fish, possibly. Another one of my favorite uh, tools for this time of year is a crankbait. You know, you, you think of a crankbait, you think of an action bait. So, you think of when you're trying to slow down and fish, uh, plastics, jigs, you know, stuff like that, drop shot. 
a, car or a, a crankbait is highly overlooked for a cold water tactic. Um, they will hit cranks sometimes when they won't even hit plastics. And you can control how slow you're, you're retrieving that crankbait. Cast to the edge of the stair step, right to the bank, flick it over, let it settle to the first stair step. Now my slack, see my slack, I bounce towards the water. I know that my bait's on the bottom, so I'm just going to pull it to the next stair step and follow the bait down until it hits the bottom again. I can tell, see my slack, how it drops to the water, that means I'm on the bottom. With a tight line, I'm going to slide it off the next step. until it makes contact with the bottom. Here's a fish. See how that works? What they do is they'll, they'll lay on these rocks to warm up and if you look at the position of where these rocks are at, the sun hits these first thing in the morning. So they'll actually just sit up here and warm up and wait for their food. Not a big one, but textbook. So I'm just going to cast and repeat. All the way to the bottom. I'll let it sit there, let the fish look at it. Slide it off to the next rock. Down, down. Now I made contact. I can tell I made contact again. You can see my slack laying on the water. So with a tight line, slide it off to the next jump, bump. Big one. Big one. Just like that. Cold water fishing. Yep. Football head jig, trailer like we talked about earlier. Experiment with your retrieves. Experiment with your presentation. We knew that these fish were cold this morning, so we're giving them a slower presentation. There's hardly any bite. All you're going to feel is pressure. The fish are not very active, so you're just going to feel like a wet sock on there. And, and remember, hook sets are free. Nice fish there. All right. That's how we get her done. All right, so what I have here is I have a Strike King Rage Bug. It's a jig trailer. Horny Toad, Rage Toad, Rage Bug, whatever you want to put on your trailer. If it looks like a crawdad, it's a good trailer. Uh, I just showed you on a, on a football head jig how I caught those fish in the wintertime. Now, with your football head jig, we're going to send you a trailer, okay? A, a crawdad imitation trailer. So next I want to show you a, a few ways that you can use your trailer other than just putting it on a jig. So another way that I like to fish it is I'm going to take this football head, uh, it's a half ounce I believe, and I'm just going to hook it through like so. Open up my little appendages here, okay. Now I have a skirtless jig here. Now I could also throw this on a Texas rig and I could also Carolina rig this as well. I do like my baits to be a little bit more in contact with the bottom when it's really cold water like this. But uh, like I said, Carolina rig, Texas rig, uh, flipping, uh, jig trailer, uh, limitless. And it catches big fish. So let's see if we can't get that done here. Now you're fishing yours on the Texas rig, aren't you, Tucker? Uh, no, it's actually a white line Carolina rig. Oh, okay. And uh, I can actually show you. 
felt like I did get a little bit of a bite there, but didn't bring it in. So. Oh, nice! You're doing the little brush hog. So yeah, what we have here is a uh, variation of a brush hog. Uh, again, if I was to put it on a jig, I would probably trim it in here or over there, and then use this meaty part right here with the claws to uh, hang off as my trailer, but. I like this full body right now because this is a, a complete mill. So the fish only has to feed once. We're going to use uh, in this rocky area this uh, 8 ounce weight to a swivel, about a foot and a half of leader, and a 2 aught size hook. And that's just a different variation that you can use. Your, the trailers that you get in your box uh, can be used for just er, uh, other things. It doesn't just have to be uh connected to a jig like how uh nick is trying to show you with the uh the football head just running it straight as a trailer um this can also be used um in a carolina rig situation a texas rig situation and uh you will get some of these different variations in your box so uh try you fishing it in different ways because it will absolutely give you more success In your bass box, you're going to receive the line that matches the baits that we send you. So when we send you a package of baits, you're going to get your seasonal pattern baits. Pre-winter, winter, summer, post-spawn, spawn, so on and so forth, okay? In your, in your pre-winter pattern box, you're going to receive a handful of baits. And with those baits, we're going to send you 20-pound test sunline. Now, that 20-pound test sunline that matches the baits that we're sending you. It's, it's the line that you're going to want to use. And that's the line that I compete with in major competitions, local competitions. It's my go-to line. Um, all the baits and all the products that we're going to be sending you guys are our go-to baits and the, and the professionals that we compete against go-to baits. Um, when, you, when you tie these up here, we're going to show you guys in our informational videos how we tie these lines on these baits. We're going to show you how to fuse your 20-pound test floral carbon sun line to your braided line and I'll go into that more uh, when I show you uh, our other video but we always want to fuse our line it gives you better sensitivity better feel it's more affordable um, you'll use a lot less line this way so anyways let's keep on fishing see if we can get a couple more jig fish and then we're going to move on to the crankbait and the a rig and show you a couple other winter patterns all right Tried to take the meat off the bone, but he didn't succeed. Let's we'll see if we can get another one. I think we got a good stack going right here. That's the other thing about these winter fish is they'll stack up. There you go. Tucker's got one. What you got him on, Tucker? Oh, I picked him up on that Ned rig. Ned rig, huh? Yep. Seems to be a good all-around year, all-year bait. I've been doing very well with it all year, and uh, I encourage everybody to at least check it out. It's another good three, four pound class range fish. Um, definitely, um, you'll see them in your box. Z Man. Oh, Smalley. Nice yep. Smalley. Yeah, what I like about the Ned Rig is it's a, a, a bottom presentation. A lot of times in the winter, uh, good bottom presentation. Bring him on over here. Not let him touch the floor there if we can help it. Yeah. Nice, thick, healthy fish. Fought a little harder than I expected because it was a small mouth, so about a nice two and a half pound fish there. Beautiful wintertime small mouth. Fish. Nice, buddy. Jerkbait fish. All right. Wintertime jerkbait fish. Good job, Tucker. Yeah. Smallmouth. Yep, smallmouth. Okay. He banged it too. All right. Let's give an explanation of how you caught that fish. So it was definite uh, pause bite. So, as soon as the slack came out of the line and the bait stalled, then 
you're able to see that tick on the end of your line. And as soon as I went to make my next swipe to pull that bait through the water again, he was already there. So, not a big one, but a fish in the winter. All right, guys, we're catching our fish today in about 30 foot of water. And I know some of you fish 30 foot of water. I know some of you fish 50. I fished all over the place. And I've, I've seen guys fish as deep as 80 foot for spots. So I know some of you fish deep, but a lot of people don't, and they have a complex against it. They, they, they feel like they're not going to get bit. And I want to tell you, most of the big fish live deep. They hide, like elk in the backcountry. You cannot catch a fish in 30 foot of water if you do not fish 30 foot of water. I mean, think about how many casts you make on the bank without a bite. If you're not fishing 20 foot, 30 foot, 40 foot, how can you catch a fish in 40 foot of water? You need to build confidence in it. Make it a goal. Make it a goal to go out and catch deep fish, deep water fish. They're there. And they're usually big ones. Just a good tip from Bass Box Pro. Giant monster bass. Monster bass. Monster guys. Monster freaking bass. Better get the net. Now, if you want to catch bass like these, hello, sweetheart. Bass Box Pro, we are going to send you the baits. They catch bass like, like these. 30 foot of water, 35 degree day. This is our pre-winter pattern here, guys. I'm not trying to brag. I just, we know what we're talking about. And we want to, we want to get these baits to you guys, okay? We want to get the baits to you guys that's going to catch the big ones. Catch bass like these. Subscribe to Bass Box Pro. Watch our videos. Hit us up on our on our on our Gmail. We want to talk. We want to help. We love the sport. We love what we do. Bass Box Pro guys. All right, hit us up. Let's let this beauty go. Should we wear? Yes. <laughs> Let's put her in the box. <laughs> Cause that's all of eight. Eight pound bass right there, not nine. Hey guys, Nick Young here with Bass Box Pro. Just want to give a shout out to Nixon Marine. You guys, if you're. In the market for a new boat and want to catch bass like these, uh, go down and see my friends at Nixon Marine. It's a great place for you to, to uh, get into your next new bass boat. So. All right, guys, another good fish today. Here's a fish. Bass box. Pro, baby! Bass box, pro, yeah! That's on that trailer that we were talking about. Now we'll be sending this with your jig. Uh, it's just a jig trailer here. Put that on that football head. It gives it a little bit slimmer diameter and profile. Um, but just uh, wanted to show you an example of how to get it done with the with the creature bait here in a, or a jig trailer. All right, nice little largemouth bass there. Winter bait. Pre-winter pattern. What I'm doing is throwing this out and I'm swimming it down and to. So 
I'm, I'm cranking my reel slow enough that the spinner bait is slowly coming down and that automatically causes the blades to spin. You don't have to reel a spinner bait very fast to get the blades to spin. And even if for a moment they're not spinning, oftentimes when they engage, it creates an action or a reaction strike. And also, I mean, think about a swim jig, right? A swim jig, the blades don't, essentially, there is no blades to spin, and they catch plenty of giant. So if you're trying to slow roll your spinner bait, and you're worried that maybe your blades aren't spinning for a couple seconds, that's okay. You just, you really do want to slow roll it in this time of year. You can always give your rod a twitch, or give your reel a little snap to kind of get the blades going. But my point is, is you really can't reel it in too slow right now. So, little guy, but uh, spinner, bait, spinner bait fish, you get the point. Uh, basically, we just want to give you a rundown of how to use these baits that we're going to be sending you. Uh, I always run a trailer hook on my spinner bait. It's a hook behind the hook here. A lot of times the fish that I catch will only have the trailer hook in their mouth and not the primary hook. So, spinner bait fish, cold water fishing, pre-winter pattern. There you go. Twenty pound test line, guys. You know, fifteen minimum. I, I wouldn't even recommend. I don't throw fifteen pound test on a blade. I don't think that you need to. Seventeen to twenty pound test. In our, in our box, the baits that we send you, again, you're going to get the line that, that, that goes with those baits. You're going to get the line that's meant for those baits. So that part you're not going to have to worry about, but, you know, 17, 20 pound test line, spinner bait. We go all the way down to four pound test line, so not that we're just heavy line fishermen. It's just you got to use the right tools for the job. Big fish, dude. Better get the net. Bass Box Pro, man. I'm telling you guys, let us hook you up. That's all we want to do. That's it. We love the sport. We love what we're doing. It's legit. Let's do it. Bass Box Pro, guys. Come on.